Hey guys, it's Corinne. Welcome and thank you so much for joining me. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at Neville Goddard's book, Imagination Creates Reality. Um, there are some big gems in here and how to transform your life and how the world works. Um, so we're going to take a look at this section under the law and um, thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and don't forget to like the video if you find something of value here. How the law works. The law of identical harvest or cause and effect is impersonal and can be used to bring into your experience anything that you can conceive. Since creation is finished, Every possible state already exists. Your fusion with a particular state, imagining with feeling what you would experience were you in that state, causes the state to be projected on your screen of space. This law cannot be changed or broken and always produces in your outer world the exact duplicate of any belief you consent to as true. If you would change your world, you must change your beliefs. Since consciousness is the only cause, you cannot blame others for the conditions which life presently exists, nor can fate or chance be the cause of that which you are now experienced. Nothing can alter the course of events in your life except a change in your own consciousness. Whatever is appearing in your world now, although it appears real and unalterable fact, is a reflection of previous activity in your own consciousness. Therefore, a change in consciousness will reflect that change in the future just as surely as a past beliefs reflect the present. Man is pure, formless conscious, and that which he conceives himself to be is an illusion or reflection of that particular idea he holds true. These illusions exist only so long as man focuses his attentions upon them and gives them life. The conscious mind forms beliefs and opinions from the evidence of the senses or the perceived outer world. The creative power within each of us accepts as true that which conscious that which the conscious mind impresses upon it. Your creative power takes those ideas which are thought of with feeling and projects them into your outer world. It is important to remember that not all thoughts are creative. Only those which are believed to be true and which are joined with feeling create the circumstances and events that you will encounter. Therefore, emotions such as anger, fear, love, or joy are creative. You must guard the emotions which you allow to enter your conscious just as you would discriminate in allowing a stranger into your home. You cannot allow a negative emotion to fill your mind without suffering the consequences or experiencing that state with which those emotions are joined. Fear of loss brings loss into your world. You could take every outward precaution to guard against loss, but if you fear loss, you will most certainly experience it in your affairs. Feelings of love and joy create happy events and loving relationships. Feelings of abundance bring riches into your life. A person who is unloving or suspicious and feels that others take advantage of him, draw to him draws to himself that which he believes. No matter what he does externally, his relationships with, with others will reflect that which he accepts as true. He may want a loving relationship, but he can only draw to himself that which he is consciousness conscious of being. Like literally attracts like. As within, so without. Consciousness is reality. And that which we that which is perceived by our senses and appears so real, but the shadow of that which we believe ourselves as the world to be. So that is what Neville calls the law and how the law works as within, so without. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I will be reading more from this Imagination Creates Reality. I've already touched on this book quite a bit on my channel, um, but it is very fascinating the way Neville puts in words how 
our, what we imagine, what we believe to be, what we accept, what we assume is what is creating our lives. And it's just so important that we wake up to this fact, identify that our inner being, our true self is the God within us. And then from that perspective, we can create what we desire and anything that we choose to. Uh, we're always creating with our thoughts, with our feelings uh, that inspire our actions. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.